Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at the Marine Morphers Aircraft Carrier. I picked this figure up over at SirToys.com. It is available on a bunch of other sites now that traffic in figures that are coming from the Chinese toy market. This is a fully transforming aircraft carrier. It's really cool. This aircraft carrier mode is based off of a real aircraft carrier, specifically the Chinese aircraft carrier type 001, which is a refurbished series of Russian aircraft carriers that the Chinese Republic purchased off of, well, Russia. The figure comes with a couple of accessories, not least of which are these excellent stands that I really appreciate, though they are a little bit wobbly and the front stand doesn't stay on the best. It also comes with this giant tower that is unpainted that I think I might do a little bit of touch-up paint myself. Now the tower was disconnected when I picked it up, or when it arrived I should say, that's fine. It went on with no problem. I just needed to unscrew a few screws. I'll show you that in a minute. If the figure comes with 16 different little planes, and the little planes are just tiny, very, very tiny little plane models. They are cute. I like them. I think these little planes are loosely modeled after the Chinese Chengdu J-10, because that's the only thing that I've been able to find on off Wikipedia that has a delta wing configuration with this extra little stabilizer wing set wing set up front. If you know what this is in the comments, please let me know because I'm not totally sure, but I think that's what it is. Now, some folks on Twitter have asked me if this is the Toy Easies or Toy Easy aircraft carrier. It is not. And I don't believe they've released an aircraft carrier. I believe they've only released two destroyers at this time. This also, this also this figure, one, is not a combiner, and two, is a much simpler transformation than those bad boys. And also, um, there's obviously a giant robot under here. That's just easy to see, as opposed to the Toy Easy ones, which don't show that off. Here are the two screws for the tower that you will need to unscrew. I suggest using a number one Phillips head screwdriver as opposed to a number two, which is your standard Phillips head screwdriver size. I tried a number two, it just didn't work for me. So I grabbed my number one that I use for like computer screws and whatnot. And all you do is pull the screws out. The piece splits apart very easily. And then there is a little T-bar right here that you put the piece around or pieces around and then just screw them back into place. It was literally a two minute fix. At its longest points, it is 17 and one quarter inches long, just shy of eight inches high with a maximum width of just about four and a half inches. For a general idea of scale, here is Earthrise Mold Optimus Prime surfing on it. Siege Astro Train with Tinder. It is longer then Titan class Predaking is tall. A collection of deluxe class Autobots. I love this aircraft carrier mode. With the stands, it makes the perfect model for a toy like in my bedroom or just on a shelf or heck on your mantle if you want it to be, if you have a fireplace. I like it. it it's so cool. And let's face it, when have we gotten a boat transformer in the last couple of years? I, I legitimately cannot find any instance of a boat transformer. And Sea Spray doesn't count. He's a hovercraft, not a boat. Pulling the stands off is very easy, though. I do try to be careful because the posts that the stands are connected to are very short. And well, as you just saw, it doesn't peg in real well. They just kind of stand here and sit here. They don't do anything in the other mode either, which is a shame because I would love it if they could somehow like combine in a specific way to hold up the robot mode a little bit better. It's not to say that the robot mode can't stand, it's just nice to have extra stands for standing sake. All right, transformation time. The first thing we're gonna do is take the control tower and slide it to the center of the ship, come to the side of the ship, and pull off this entire piece. This entire part of the flight deck folds up like that. You reach inside and fold down the handle and that becomes the robot mode sword. I think he's been playing a bit too much Final Fantasy VII. Next up for the transformation, turn the figure upside down and there's a big old robot head. This is the robot's chest and we have the tower in the middle. Reach under the sides and unpeg these two panels 
because these will then unpeg and flip up and around and they won't peg into the tower, but they will just rest against the tower. Doing this will allow us to move the other panels around. If you don't do this first, things get messy. Next, come one step back and unpeg these panels and fold them out. Turn the figure upside down to the bottom of the ship and unpeg these panels that are in red. That will allow you to pull the legs out and then come back to the bottom of the back of the flight deck and flip up these panels and they will peg into place, thus freeing up the feet. Pull the feet down and then fold them up and flip them down. So up and then pull it down and they will give you pegs on the inside to peg the shin panel in. So you peg it in to this part here and to the knee and oops, I forgot to pull that down a little bit. And then we'll just close them up and split the legs apart. The rest of the transformation is a bit easier, though it's still really neat. Come to the bottom of the bow section. So the bow is the front, or I guess, yeah, this is the bow. And then to these, I guess, pokey sections, we'll say. And then fold them out and they will form the arms. Then come down to where the head is, grab the entire head and middle chest section. That's on a ratchet for some reason. Turn it around 180 degrees, turn the head around 180, and then push the whole thing back up and snap it into place. And then for the arms, come to the outsides and open the panel and flip up the hands. And then come to the shoulders, turn the shoulders down, and then rotate the elbows in and just repeat it on the other side. Open the panel here, flip out the hands, turn the shoulders, bend the elbow and the other shoulder, and there we go. And then for the bow section, take the entire top of the boat section, that whole thing, and split it in half. Now, I will be the first to admit this looks like the SDF-1 a little bit. It's just me. Grab the entire front of the boat section, split it in half, and hinge it out to fit behind the shoulders. Hinge those up, then take the boat section down and then flip it back, but reach into the flight deck first and flip out that panel and that whole section will go over. So open that panel, fold it forward, flip it back and then reach inside and pull out some missiles and some drones. And they will snap into place once they get them pulled out. The robot we end up with is very cool, and I love the coloring. That dark red metal, the teal blue, the white, and the gray all work incredibly well. And man, that head sculpt is some G1 Diaclone mwah, chef's kiss. Just the molding and the detailing on the legs. I mean, look at those knees. Those just look so cool. And it looks like actual metal ship pieces. And the rivets all along the upper thighs. Oh, so good. And then that chest is very nice. It does look like a conning tower for, a, for another ship. And again, the head sculpt. Yeah, it doesn't work with a nautical theme, but it's just well done. And it's a thick head. I mean, that, that's a pretty big head, but it definitely feels like a Transformers head. The visor, the giant things on the side of its helmet, and the face being silver all work incredibly well. And I love the giant missiles sticking out of the one pylon and then more jets sticking out of the other, which I still don't know what those jets are. If you know, let me know in the comments. The back of the figure is less impressive. It's just a whole lot of gray back there. I'm fine with that. Shoulders are ratcheted for 360 degree movement, though the um, ship bits get in the way. There's a hinge on the shoulder for the transformation, and then there's a hinge on the outside of the shoulder as well. Ratcheted bicep swivel, and then ratcheted elbow joint, and then the fists, uh, unfortunately they don't move. Oh well, torso ratchet, though, you're not gonna get much movement because of all the kibble. Front skirts move out of the way, and then it can kick forward on a ratchet. Can't really kick back all that far, even if the back bit does move, but 
There is a little bit of back articulation. In and out movement is just friction joint and there's not enough friction in either of these joints. There's a thigh swivel and then ratchet at the knee. These knee ratchets aren't strong enough to hold the weight of the figure though. I have found that, well, yeah, that happens. And then for the feet, you've got back and forward articulation and you've got plenty of ankle rocker. The figure can almost do the splits and can totally dab. Size comparison time. Earthrise Shatter Glass Optimus Prime. Titans Return, Titans Class, Predaking. Transformers Siege, Commander Class Jetfire. DX9 Carry. The re-release of Leader Class Optimus Prime from the first Transformers movie. Uh, 07, not the 86 movie. And Q Reno. I love this figure. It's flawed, but I still love it. And I really hope the designers of this figure and the folks that make it do a re-release where they have fixed a bunch of the issues, especially with the legs. Maybe they can use stronger ratchets. I, I don't know. I'm also really curious to see what they come up with next. Maybe a submarine, maybe a destroyer class fi figure. That would be really awesome. And now this has kind of lit the fire in me where I kind of want to buy the Toy Easy's ones. Yeah, they're super complicated comparatively to this guy but I kind of want them. So folks, let me know what you think of this aircraft carrier down in the comments. Also down in the description, there will be a link to surtoys.com where you can pick this one up for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Bolt Matrix and I will catch you all next time.